Nice grass, huh? Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks, Akira. There almost goes my coffee. Cheers. So uh, you just saw me uh, cutting the grass, but I was so in my moment that I forgot to replace the camera. So it's almost all done. Still here, I have stuff. And here I have a little bit. But yeah, I needed to remove some cables and some uh, pipes for the water. So I still need to uh, pass here one more time. <laughs> so yeah, uh, wrong side of the building. We're gonna do the batons. I'm glad the sun is a little bit behind the clouds now. It's going towards the end of the day. Uh, because if you want to work uh, here while this is reflecting the sun, yeah, you'll get boiled alive. Uh, so we don't want that. Um, yeah, start from the bottom, right? At least that's what I learned last time from Bath. So I think uh, first I'm gonna Cut the insulation a little bit back and so that it's nice and straight. And then I'm gonna see uh, how much the battens will, will almost go to the end. Uh, and then we will cement this in. And the same goes for the other side. Yeah, that's almost the same. And then in the top, uh, I want to make a small overhang from the tile, maybe 10 centimeters. Uh, so there's going to be also a layer of cement. And then the first tile is going to lay in the cement because it, you know, the baton doesn't go beyond the building, of course. <laughs> but the, the tile needs to go beyond the building. So the idea is to, to cement three sides in. And this side, I cannot cement in because this is also the um, I use the insulation also as the water barrier so if water comes it can flow down here and it yeah it shouldn't be stopped here otherwise the walls get wet and like the rafters in the wall they go they get rotten we don't want that that's what happens in Portugal normally because the rafters end up in the wall and they have no water barrier so if water comes through it goes on the rafter and then ends up in the wall, ruining the part of the rafter that's in the wall. Yeah, so we also want a little overhang uh, here on the lowest part. Uh, here we're gonna put in, yeah, like sort of a fascia board uh, behind it and a small part in front of it. And, but I want the tile maybe to overhang like from the baton, maybe six centimeters, and with the baton, maybe 10 centimeters. Almost the same as in the top. So I didn't do any calculations yesterday, so I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna see how it ends up and then uh, calculate real how we end up the best way.
beautiful day to lay some tiles. And I'm still calculating. <laughs> <laughs> so I laid them all out now on the, um, the standard spacing. 34.5 centimeters. So at first, of course, I made the mistake again to make the template thingies 34.5. But yeah, they need to be 34.5 minus 4 from a baton. So this is the um, default spacing. So I end up there. And the next tile should go like this. Longest like this, shortest like this. So yeah, that's hanging over way too much. I would like to have it maybe like this. So that means we have uh, 10 centimeters to divide among one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. Not the bottom one cannot shift. Amongst ten tiles. So that would mean one centimeter per tile. But I will measure that first. <laughs> See how long uh, this distance actually is. Then uh, divide it by ten. And um, yeah, I should then be able just to make the template one centimeter shorter. And then uh, all the battens end up one centimeter lower and uh, we have room for this uh, last tile here so uh, I'm gonna get some coffee and uh, measure this up and make sure I have the right distance and then at least I want to um, nail in the battens today I hope that's gonna work Lots of time in the day left.
Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.